We now take a closer look at the human resource requirements. First of all, the staff quantity must be taken into account. Here, the staffing requirement results from operational planning and the actual workload. Plenty of staff is of little use if they are not sufficiently qualified. The first step is to determine what an employee must be able to do in his or her role. Qualification and induction plans that include on-the-job training, specialized training, and instruction are expected here. This must then be compared with the actual competence of the employee. If gaps appear, the employee must be qualified. This applies not only to the company's own permanent staff, but also to temporary and agency workers. Summarize your training needs in a training plan. Such an overview facilitates the management of the training courses, the timely provision of financial resources, the showing of compliance in the certification audit. It is often forgotten that an effectiveness check is required after the qualification measure. The focus is on checking whether the trainee has understood the contents and whether the trainee is applying the learning objectives in everyday business life. Effectiveness checks are generally to be documented with Date of examination Name of the checker and object of checking. Give us a call or send us an email if you are interested in this e-learning.